Okay. Um, I will introduce um, a paper with the title Complex Heat Map Visualization and recently published in iMeta in this presentation. Mm, so it's about um, heat map. So heat map has been a standard tool for visualiz visualizing omics level data. And we have previously developed an, a, a package called a complex heat map, uh, which is now it's very popular in the bioinformatics field. Um, till recent, it has it has been downloaded for more than five hundred thousand times, and there are more than one hundred other uh, CRAN and bioconductor packages that um, have direct uh, dependency on on complex heat map, and also the first paper which was published in bioinformatics. Um, has been cited more than three thousand times, and um, the the original paper of complex heat map was published in two thousand sixteen, and since then since then we um have been actively um, maintained the package and we have also um, added many new features to the package, and so in this new article in this new paper we will give um a very comprehensive very comprehensive uh, introduction um, for the functionalities of uh, a complex heat map, including its design, um, its um, rich functionalities, and its um, apl applications. So the complex heat map uh, package has a modular design. It was um, implemented in an object-oriented way. So there are three uh, main classes defined for heat maps. The first is the, the heat map class, which um, defines a single heat map, and the second is the heat map annotation class, which defines um, the heat map annotation, and the third one is um, heat map list class, which defines a list of heat maps. So in the figure below, and the figure A is a demonstration of the structure of the um, heat map. Um, class which contains the, the heat map body and and this uh, various um, heat map components which include the title the denograms the the column labels which like the column names row names and on, and the annotations on the rows or on the columns and figure B is a list of um, various heat map annotations which is composed by a list of single annotations and the figure C is a a heat map list which contains a list of um, heat maps and annotations and also there are heat map level title and the legends for the heat map and the annotations so a single heat map and um, the function heat map with h capitalized um, makes a single heat map um, it has the following unique features compared to um, other heat map packages so um, the, the, the capitalized edge um, heat map function supports flexible controls of clustering and the matrix or heat map reordering. And so you can integrate any type of clustering methods in it. And also you can use this uh, denigram objects and use it in the heat map function. You can also use um, a lot of other methods for reordering the matrix and you can also integrate them in a heat map function. The second new, f the second unique feature is it uh, supports to split the heat map. So, like in the figure A and figure B, you can actually you can split the heat map by rows and or by columns. So, actually, this is a very I think this is a useful um, feature for heat map visualization because it helps to highlight these groupwise uh, patterns very well, according to my experience. It also allows to render the heat map heat map body as raster images, especially useful when you have a very huge um, heat map. So it helps to reduce uh, the final size and also it um, helps like if you use PDF viewer to 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 view the uh, to view the plot, it will make the uh, the the viewer um, to open the, the PDF very fast. And also it supports to customize the heat map. Like you can add more layers of graphics on on top of the heat map. Also supports flex flexible controls of colors so you can exact exactly define how to map uh, values to colors and you can um, it, it, 
and it supports very flexible uh, control of like customized legends of the heatmap and annotations. So the heatmap annotations, com so complex heatmap uh, supports a lot of um, annotation graphics. It also uh, supports uh, self-defined annotation graphics. So these plots, these figures shows this um, a lot of different uh, annotation graphics that are supported in compass heatmap. So there are like heatmap like annotation, image annotation, points annotation, blah blah blah, and it also supports uh, rather complicated annotations like figure B. This is called the uh, the mark uh, annotation, which like to add like to link a subset of rows or columns of the heatmap to um, text labels. And the figure C is called the link annotation, which links um, plot and plotting regions to heat maps. So the figure D is a, a special case for figure C for the link annotation. The figure D is called the text box annotation, which um, links these text boxes to heat maps. So a list of heat maps, so actually you can add an arbitrary numbers of heat maps and, and annotations either horizontally or vertically to construct this uh, complex complex heat map annotate visualization so basically you can simply use the operator plus or the to, i mean use plus to horizontally uh, link heat maps or you use this uh, percent v percent to vertically can uh, link um, the heat maps so there are two examples of this complex um, heat map visualization for the first one is to visualize the associations between dna methylation the red uh, blue heat map and the gene expression, the red and green heat map, and, and some other additional um, and genomic uh, annotations. Like you can put them together and you can see the patterns shared between different sources of information. And the figure B in this plot is another example of showing the complex um, heat map visualization. It is for visualizing uh, a global summary statistics in multi, multi, multi omics studies. So there are methylation and like how they, like their correlation to in gene expression, the distance to TSS, and like an annotation to CPT island, and the enrichment to, uh, and some other genomic features like genes, TSS, uh, repeat regions, and the enrichment, the, the enrichment to a different chromatin states. So you can use this uh, complex heat map visualization to, to very easily to and to see the correspondence of these different uh, information. And the com compass heat map is uh, flexible, so it, it's also possible to implement um, some other high level graphics based on the functionality of compass heat map. So these plots are, are already supported by compass heat map package. So the figure A is a density heat map, which, is, which uses the colors to map to the, the density of um, a list of distributions. And figure B is a 3D frequency uh, frequency heat map or frequency plot, 3D heat map, heat map which, has the same, which uses the same matrix as figure A. The figure C is a uh, print, which realizes the genomic mutations or genomic alterations in a list of genes and in a, a cohort of patients to see the mutation pattern uh, the mutation patterns and the figure D is the upset plot which visualizes um, the, inter the intersections of um, several sets and the figure E is a, geno a genome level plot like each uh, column column category is, uh, corresponds to a chromosome and you can add many different genomic signals to the plot and so the com complex heat map package has also been integrated in other uh, packages, for example, the enriched heat map, which specifically you uses uh, heat map to realize two types, two different types of genomic um, features, like to to see how they are enriched in, in, uh, for each other. So the on the left figure, it's a, a it's a combined or integrated visualization of um, chromatin states, the the enrichment of chromatin states around TSS. The second heat map is a uh, methylation around TSS, and the third one is the uh, gene expression of the of the rated genes. So we can see the correspondence, like for the the, the bottom or group, which 
um, which is uh, where the active uh, chromatin states are enriched at the TSS. You can see basically around the TSS, the, uh, the DNA is basically is, uh, very lowly methylated and the genes are highly expressed. And as a comparison on the top uh, group, which where the uh, chromatin are in inactive states, so basically the the TSS are fully methylated and the genes basically are not expressed or very lowly expressed. And the second package is an interactive complexity map package, which can very easily convert a, a static a heat map produced by complex heat map to an interactive shiny application, like to make a static uh, heat, map to, heat map to an interactive heat map. So conclusion, so the complex heat map visualization is a powerful way to associate uh, multiple sources of information to reveal the potential, the hidden structures from the data. And we believe complex heat map package will continually be a useful tool for mathematics and also for the general data science field for the data analysis. And thank you.